All right, YouTube, I showed you what I did in my other pans, and this one's still sticky from the uh, curing process. And you're going to want to put quite a bit of salt in there. And just use a, this, the rough side of your uh, sponge. And what you want to do is just make sure that you scrub that around really good. This is after you cure it, of course. Um, sometimes we use a little too much oil when we cure our pans. Normally do, anyway. I did. And uh, it leaves a sticky residue in the pan. And you can feel it. When you put your finger in there, it sticks when it's dry. Um, and then at that point, it doesn't matter how much oil or grease or bacon grease or fat or butter you use. Everything's going to stick in the pan. Um, because the pan itself is sticky. So... You want to make sure you scrub it really, really good with that salt. Now that's not going to take away your seasoning. And I stated before that the seasoning, everybody thinks that seasoning cast iron makes it non-stick. That's not true. The seasoning just keeps it from rusting when you uh, wash it. So, now that's all nice and clean. That's all nice and clean, and you can see the water just runs right out of it. So that means it's got a good seasoning on it. Put it on the stove. Throw some heat on it. Let it dry. And then uh, that pan will be ready to go. Uh, I seasoned my pans three times. And you saw in my last video that I threw a little butter in the pan, cooked an egg, and it didn't stick at all. Um... I have to get a little bit better at flipping the eggs with the cast iron. I'm not used to that. Uh, they are a little bit heavier than uh, normal pans. But we're going to let this one dry real quick, and I'll show you um, what that looks like when it's done. Now, what I do like to do is, while it's drying, I like to get a little, little bit of butter, just a tiny bit, because I like my animal fat, to be honest with you. Um, and butter is basically animal fat. It's it's just cream. It's fat from the milk. And you get two ingredients. You get the fat and you get the uh, salt. That's if you like salted butter. I personally like salted butter. So yes, I like the animal fat. And it doesn't go rancid because I, uh, I use, I'm going to use these pans all the time. And I've never had a a pan go rancid on me anyway, but aside from that, now that it's hot, it's a little bit warm to the touch there, but that's all right, I can handle it. And then I just take that towel, and you don't want to use anything with lint on it if you can avoid it. Um, and then you just you wipe that around in there, and you want to get as much of it out as you can with just a towel. Um, but then at that point, <clears throat> once you do that and you should do this after every time you wash it but now that pan oh, it's hot but it's not sticky now that pan is no longer sticky as it was when I pulled it out of the oven uh, when I took it out of the oven it was very sticky and now it is no longer sticky very shiny very smooth very clean but you can see the difference. It's no longer sticky. So nothing will stick in this pan either. Um, I did the same thing with these other two pans. Very, very slick, very shiny. And as long as you're using the uh, as long as you're using the proper amount of animal fat or fat, whatever you whatever kind of fat you want to use, then nothing will stick in your cast iron. So there you go. Hope that tip helps you. Uh, I think my phone's a little fuzzy again. Yep, it is. I don't know why. Anyway, hope that tip helps you. Have a great day.